Last episode, Flip wondered where we got all of our salmon. And you wonder where we got so much black dye. Today, we answer them both on Shrub SMP, Season 6, Episode 2. Hello, everyone, and welcome today on the uh, Shrub SMP. Kind of stuck here on top of this tree, uh, joining in and saying hi to you. So to introduce um, something that I built here on the server, uh, and I have some additional plans for it. So we're gonna talk through those today as we get started and talk about farms for multiplayer servers, how they work, uh, where I got them from, where I got the inspiration and or copied them from existing creators. Uh, and you know, how I plan to do some adjustments on my own and make them, you know, make them fun for us, make them fun for me, uh, and make it a little bit of a more of a challenge to build on top of, I'm really bad with building, you know, something from scratch, but I'm good at taking something once it's in place and doing a little more with it. So what I plan to do is kind of show you around the original build, which is right here before us, uh, what we've done so far with the surrounding area and what my plans are. So as we fly up into the air, I'm going to take a quick look back. We are going to see a kind of traditional cleared out river area, most of it cleared out, and a squid ink farm. So the river goes out here with the spawning area, the 128 blocks of despawn is about right here where this last pod is. Uh, that's not a river, so I didn't need to empty it. Any places where I left water is actually not river, so I didn't have to worry about that. Amazingly, this spot over here, since I'm talking about it, that big spot, not river, kind of crazy. Um, and then obviously way over here. So once you have all the river cleared out and you have the build made, now it's a matter of like, it's a little ugly and I have some plans on what to do with the terrain and some of the land and put a structure on top of the farm itself. Uh, that, or maybe over here where the portal is somewhere around the farm or near the farm or on top of the farm. I plan to put like a giant squid build and maybe even like a squid and salmon or a squid and like some the particle, the smoke particles for what we will take a look down here. Uh, I had this idea that, you know, as the squid falls, well, look, there's already some squid things here uh, on the floor. There we go. Squid, squid falls and that part, those smoky particles um, on their demise, like maybe have them kind of in the air. So the squid above this farm or like near the top of the farm and those particles just kind of like flying around up there. So that's my idea for what to do. With building it up a little, making some decoration and topography, I'd have to come up with like some landscaping uh, blocks to do, like maybe an otherworldly dimension, like the end dimension. This thing is working really well. Um, it's since it's a multiplayer server, there is one other person playing right now, um, but they're probably either in a different dimension or not near a river because look at this stuff falling. This is actually this is pretty uh, impressive, and I won't need to stay here long because I'm pretty well off on black dye for the time being, as you may have seen in the previous video, where I had plenty of, oh my gosh, they're really falling like crazy now. I better get out of the way before they fall on my face. Uh, uh, so that'll just give me a second to go in here and explain what, you know, the mechanism is. So basically just a, a hopper mine cart, you know, making its way around underneath the floor, picking up all the items and it'll come up here in a moment. It'll stop on that uh, rail, which I have a little detector system for an auto dropper and it will then feed the hoppers into the dropper and the dropper will spit them out right now into the water stream as there they go this little clock activates the dropper the dropper spits them out they go down to a bubble elevator which i then have go up to the surface and up by that portal where my uh nether portal is to get to this area or at least make easy access from the nether there is a chest there that this uh, bubble elevator feeds the water into and that's where I can collect them. So it's pretty convenient in terms of like, if I ever need to just go pick it up, I can just go pop out of the nether, out of the portal, grab it out of the chest and head out of here. Because of the way spawning mechanics work, actually where I'm standing is a pretty good spot and that's why being at the bottom of this thing that they're still falling down like crazy because the despawn sphere, even though it looks pretty close uh, and that looks relatively small, the 28 block, I think it's 28 block or 20 some block anyway, um, let me 24, 24, 28 block despawn or spawning radius is above my head, basically, even if you're standing uh, at the bottom of this. But anyway, so even being on the floor right here, um, that's far enough away from my head that believe it or not, the, uh, the bottom water blocks are still spawnable, uh, even from being this close. And I, I got to say, I'm impressed with the rates right now. There is somebody else online. They got, they cannot, they, they must not be near an ocean or a river because there's no way that these would be flying out as much as they are. 
but that's you know that's that's the farm so a lot of talking about the mechanics of it let's um let's fly out of here and like i said i gotta kind of target the block what that didn't take off all that great now we're down to four rockets fly out hold the up button and you get shot out the top uh and we land um and then we're gonna take a sleep on my purple bed which is the transport bed that's how you know always go with a transport bed that's my you know every anytime on a multiplayer server somebody's you know talking about zzz -Z -Zing or sleep sleep sleeping you, know, you don't want to be the one not sleeping so that's why you have a transport bed and carry it around with you everywhere so like i said here's the portal <clears throat> here's the little bubble elevator where the items come up they come up they come roll down and they come into this chest I've already collected from this recently, so but it's pretty like I said, it's it's, it's amazing to see them uh, pop back up as fast as they have. Oh, here comes some more. See them in, right in action on cue. Uh, they they come flying into the uh, into, into into the hopper and into the chest and ready for collection at a later time. So, like I said, um, complete for now, functional, working pretty well, especially when there's nobody, uh, you know, loading other uh, water mobs as we saw when I was at the bottom and have plans for this so you know i want to decorate i'm thinking like crying obsidian lines through you know, doing some kind of otherworldly transformation to this entire area this riverbed below uh on near the floor on both sides and then trying to figure out what the land looks like and what kind of structures might be on the land uh around this structure and on top uh definitely going to make a build i'm kind of one for building statues or recreations of mobs and uh things and uh, uh players and items uh it's like basically pixel art but in minecraft and uh, I, I do that often so i'm planning on up like i said up here doing a squid maybe a squid and a salmon and some of those smoky particles from when they fall on the floor but for now uh let's head out of here and without going through the nether i'm just going to show you how it works right now what we'll do is we'll do the slash home command and in a few moments, we'll be in my base. Or at least we'll materialize there soon in episode three. Bye until next time.